In this video, we'll discuss adding and setting up new vehicles. So to add a new vehicle, you'll simply go to Vehicles and click on Add. Here you'll click on Add Vehicle. You can also use a quick import function if you have a list of vehicle device serial numbers. But here we'll just add an individual device. I'll be asked for a serial number which I have handy. Now the serial number can be also found on the side of the device or sticker and I could simply label this. You can label it by unit number as well as a driver if the driver is associated with the unit. I'm going to click on 204 John Smith. And you can see here I've added in the vehicle. Uh, I can put in a VIN, license plate, now the odometer and engine hours should be pulled directly from the ECM, but I can add in some extra comments here as well, as well as the odometer information at the time of install, just to be on the safe side in case the information is not pulled from the ECM. Uh, here you can also set up driver feedback as well, uh, enabling beep settings on the device, which include driver identification key reminder, if that's a module that you have installed with the device, you can also beep on high RPM, beep on idling, beep on speeding, dangerous driving, seatbelt, and even on reverse, as you can see. So these are in-vehicle audible driver coaching features, which you can use to better manage safety uh, as well as fuel costs. You can also associate the vehicle with a particular group. And by associating with a particular group, uh, you can create rules based on these groups as well. So you may have a rule which may only apply to your SUV vehicles. Uh, and then maybe that's you might want to be more restrictive on your heavier vehicles for things such as harsh braking or cornering versus your passenger vehicles. So you can use groups. You can also add uh, other various groups, uh, more than one if you wish. Uh, you may also associate the vehicle with a branch. So groups can be used in a number of different ways. But these are the basic settings. And I would simply click on Save. Additional settings on setting up a vehicle, you'll see here more details. On clicking on More Details, you'll see a few other options listed below here. And these go more to the detailed parameters, which most often you will not need to complete. but you can see our state province, uh, work time, time zone, as well as if you do need to replace this device with a, with a new device, you can click here to replace with new device so that the history is kept with this unit name and description. And those are the basic settings here for the vehicles. Uh, going back, you can at any time go back into other vehicles and click on them to edit the vehicles and review any other information you need to review here.